So now I want to talk about something I call hybrid scales. But first of all, let's say we're playing mixolydian modes over these uh, one, four, five chords. And you feel like, well, it sounds kind of dry and it sounds too academic and not blues enough. Uh, you switch to the blues scale. Yeah, now you've got more blues sound, but you feel like, uh, well, I'm just running out of ideas using this. And what I want to give you here today is a, is a tool to, to expand your horizons a little bit. And this is something I've been using myself for years successfully. So it's a very simple concept. It's using what I've already talked about, the minor blue scale and the mixed lydian. So for the one chord, if we play the mixed lydian for A, it sounds like this. If I play the A minor blue scale, But the cool thing is we can combine them into one scale that I call a, hy a hybrid scale, just for lack of a better name. And let's look at the intervals created and all the notes that are created as, as we play through this hybrid scale. So for A, we have the one that's present in both of these scales. We have the, the two that's present in the mixolydian. We have the minor third that comes from the minor blue scale, the major third from the mixolydian, the four that's in both, the flat five that's in the blue scale, and the five that's in both, the sixth is in the mixolydian, and the minor seventh is in both. And we're back to the root note. Then we get a, a bigger scale that has more notes but it's extremely useful. It sounds like this. So this, as you can hear, there's a lot of notes in there, but the notes aren't new. All of these we have already covered and you already know them probably. And uh, using such a concept as this scale with extra notes, it can really open up your horizon, give you color in your playing. You might get bored of the same old licks and now you have a lot more to work with and you're using things you already know and you can create all sorts of cool ideas out of this one hybrid scale, which is a combination of two. It sounds bluesy now, and I have more to work with. It doesn't sound academic or stiff, and I can, of course, uh, choose whichever notes from the scale I want. I don't have to use all, I don't even know how many there are, but I have charts available, so make sure you take a look at closely how you can play this hybrid scale all over the neck. It might be a little daunting to, to try and take it all in at one time, but focus on what you already know the minor blues scale, the mixolydian in whatever position on the neck, and just get used to the sound of the, these two scales combined. It's a very powerful concept. Now let's switch to the four chord, D7. We can use a hybrid scale approach here as well, but first let's uh, recap what, what we did when it, in terms of the D mixolydian and the blues scale. If we use the D mixolydian, it sounds like this. And we also know that we can use the A minor blues scale as well over the D chord. So we can now combine the two of them, and then we get this new hybrid scale that co consists of D mixolydian and A minor blue scale. And it sounds like this. So it's a little bit different sound, but all those good notes are still in there. So let's look at the intervals created from a D perspective, from 
using the hybrid scale. So we have the one here, the root note. Now this next note comes from the um, A minor blues scale, and it becomes a, a minor second, it's called. It's just a half step of above uh, the root note D. So it's a scary note to land on, of course, because it's going to clash with the chord tone. But you can still use it as a passing tone. And next we get uh, the second, which is part of D mixolydian. We get the major third, which is part of D mixolydian. We get the fourth. This note is part of both the A minor blues scale and the D mixolydian. We get the five, which is also part of both of those scales. We get the sixth, that's part of D mixolydian. And we get the, the minor seventh that's present in both. All right, so the only uh, out there note from a D perspective is that minor second, which is the blue note in A. But over the D chord, it's a note that you want to use more as a, as a passing tone. And you shouldn't avoid it because it's really cool. You can use it in a lot of tasteful ways. Right? I often use it as a lead in note to the chord like that, or, or away from the root note. but you don't want to land on it, that's all. Now, for the V chord, E7, we can still use this hybrid scale approach and combine the E mixolydian with the A minor blue scale. As you recall, E mixolydian sounds like this. And we can use the A minor blue scale over that chord as well. as long as we focus on those good chord tones. But now when we combine these two scales, we get a lot of notes. And I hope you don't get too Im intimidated. I urge you to study the chart provided, which will indicate uh, where these intervals come from, from which scale. But let's look at the sound of it and how you can use it. So it will sound like this when you combine them. doesn't sound bluesy yet, there's a lot of notes in there, but the cool thing is all these notes you already know. They come from the E mixolydian and from the A minor blues scale. And of course you don't have to use all of the notes all the time, that's not the point. But viewing it this way, you have now more color choices when you're playing lead, and you can create a lot of hip lines out of these options if you learn to master this scale. <laughs> You can really hear uh, the chord that I'm playing over. And I can add really blues and notes, right? But there are a couple notes that you have to be aware of that are a little scary. And the note in um, the A minor blues scale was the blue note. In A, it sounds like this. That becomes a really bad note for E7. Because it's going to clash with the E7 chord. Not pretty. So that's a one that you can still use, but use it as a passing note. You, you lead into a chord tone like... So I end up with... A minor seven, that's of course uh, a chord tone, and it's present in both scales. But this note the m becomes a major seven in E. That comes from the blue scale. That one you want to either raise up or down. 
So I often use it as a leading note. Kind of a cool idea to move uh, chromatically like that. And uh, there's a really cool chromatic line that is created automatically from, from this. Because if you go from the, the 5 of E, the note B, you end up having all the notes between B and E available in this hybrid scale. And that sounds kind of cool. So you can use that as a tool to go from uh, the root note down to the 5. Things like that. That's just a, uh, they're all fair game, those notes. But make sure that you don't land on that major 7th. So that's going to clash big time. And there's one other note that I want to mention, and that's this note. That's the minor third for A, the note C. But over the E7, it's one of those sour notes that you usually, usually use it as a passing note. Because if you end a lick on it, it's going to sound kind of weird, unless you have a fancier E7 that has that note in it. But for regular uh, e, E7 type chords, that note either use as a passing tone or skip it and use the one above or below instead. Or as a passing tone. 